So in this video, we're going to be looking at Copper Fit Face Protector. It's another face protector out there in the as seen on TV world. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mow the lawn with this face protector on because there's nothing I dislike more than when I'm mowing the lawn and that wind blows and just blows all that grass in your face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this and go mow the lawn, but wait a minute. I can't mow the lawn like this. One second. All right. Yeah. Now this just feels right. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's take a closer look at Copper Fit's face protector to see if it can help us out. All right, so here is our Copper Fit face protector. It retails for about $10, which is half the price of their competitors. That's real nice. Let me point out a few things just on this box. One, it says right here, Copper Infuse. And why do they put that on the box? One, because the name is probably Copper Fit. But two, look at this. Copper technology is antimicrobial, and that is important for a lot of people these days who are wanting to stay healthy. I will say it shows you a couple different ways you can wear it, either as a turtleneck, I guess, or if you want to go skiing and you can just wrap it up around your head. This part right here frustrated me a lot. What does this say to you right here? It says washable. It's got a picture of a washing machine with a check, and it says washable, which makes you think you can throw it in the washing machine, right? Well, let's look here. Hand wash cold. Air dry. Do not bleach. Do not iron. Do not dry clean. Well, that's frustrating because I wanted to throw this in the washing machine, but I guess you have to hand wash it. It does say up here, one size fits most. That always worries me because I'm never in that most part. Anyway, let's unbox it and see what we get. It is the charcoal color. All right. So it looks like we got some sort of paper in here. I'm going to wrestle with the box to get it. All right, here it is. So all this is is really just thanking us for picking this and gives me maybe a discount off something else. And here it is. It's a neck gaiter style. It's definitely smaller than the Mission neck gaiter. It's probably half the size. I'll get that later for um, demonstration of size. Um, but this is the Copper Fit neck gaiter. Let's go try it out. So I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about these neck gaiter masks? These masks. What do you think about wearing masks in general? Do you? Wear them out in public? Do you not? What does your state require? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. It's a windy day out here and I'm glad to have this face protector because every time I turn the mower I get blasted in the face with grass clippings and it's frustrating but my face is protected and not only that I have my sweet tack glasses night vision. I love how they make everything clear and colorful and just vibrant. So, in this mask, I've been testing the breathing with my mouth and then also through my nose. And I'm not really blocked at all in my breathing. I can breathe pretty well and that I like because that's important to me. I also like how there's not as much material around my neck like the Mission Cooling Neck Gator. So, it's not as hot or material thickness right around there. So, it makes me feel a little better. Now, I'm going to get back to mowing the lawn. So I just finished mowing the lawn and I've been wearing my copper fit face protector and I've noticed that it's getting a little looser around my nose and what I mean by that is as I'm going it sort of like just pulls down off my nose and that gets kind of frustrating because then I have to stop and put it back up on my nose. I do know the box it said it was a secure fit but maybe the elastic on the top is not strong enough to keep it up there. Like I've said before though, I do appreciate how it kept the grass out of my face and it kept my face and my nose covered. And you know what? I got to mow the lawn in peace. Just check that out. It is one of my favorite things to do. 
All right, so I wanted to show you the different ways that Copper Fit says you can wear this. There's only three, but I also should mention that this is UV protected, so you won't get a sunburn through your material. Anyway, so of course the first way, just like this, as a face protector, they also say that if you want to bring it down a little, you can bring it all the way up here. I'm not sure necessarily why that would be. They actually have it going up here. I guess that's some way. I don't know. And then, of course, they said you can just wear it if you wanted to keep your neck nice and warm. Not too sure about those ones for me. I would pretty much just use it as the face protector because that's really what it's intended for. Anyway, I just wanted to run you through those things real quick. All right, I said I'd give you a head-to-head -head between the Mission Cooling Neck Gator and the Copper Fit Face Protector. You can just definitely tell there's a, a complete difference. It's almost twice the size, I and mean, there's a few inches left there. I will say the Mission has this elastic on the top where the Copper Fit, um, the whole thing is really elastic, but it's not as tight as the Mission. Remember how I said earlier this kept slipping off my nose, and that could have been the reason? Um... I should have said earlier, this is um, made in China. I think they both are actually, but that's just a head to head between the two. This wasn't really a comparison video. I just wanted to show you the difference in size. So in this video, I've been looking at Copper Fit's face protector. Let me tell you a little bit about my experience, not just mowing the lawn. So going out in public, I like that I can wear it around my neck. If you go to a place that requires a mask, you can real quick slip it on. It's not that cumbersome. I will say maybe it's hot around my neck and I wouldn't like doing that, but it is real quick and easy. And for the most part, I can breathe through it. It's not something I want to wear for a long period of time. But then again, I could just have a giant head and this thing is too tight on me. Who knows? I will say I do like that it stretches. I do like that it fits to me. Although I did mention before how it kept coming off my nose. It might just be a different fit for different people, but remember on the Mission one, it had this elastic, and although I didn't like necessarily getting the elastic mark on my nose, it at least held it up there. It does say that it has copper in it, so the um, whole antimicrobial properties. But you know what? I would just rather wear one of these. Have you seen these face shields? They're awesome. Anyway, um, it's just something I picked up for fun. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Copper Fit Face Protector. During this video, I used a pair of glasses that I love. It's my TAC glasses, night vision. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link that video right up here. I would love it if you would click on this link. I also referenced my um, Mission Cooling Neck Gator. I'll put that one on over here. You can click either one of those, and by the magic of the internet, I will join you at those videos. Hey, make sure you're logged in so you see these things pop up, and I don't look like a crazy person. Go ahead, click them. They're safe, I promise.